In this video, I'll be showing you how to send private transactions from your bot through BlocksRoute's Cloud API. Sending private transactions via BlocksRoute's Cloud API requires a BlocksRoute account with an active subscription of Enterprise or above. To send a private transaction via BlocksRoute's Cloud API, I'll send an RPC request containing my BlocksRoute account authorization header, using the private transaction method, and of course the transaction bytes from my bot. Pressing Enter to send my transaction, and the terminal responds with a transaction hash, which I can verify using Etherscan. As you can see, Etherscan doesn't have any information about this transaction while it's still pending, and that's because this transaction isn't currently visible in the mempool, where it would have been vulnerable to front-running and other malicious MEV attacks if I hadn't sent it privately. Now that the transaction has been confirmed in a block, we can see it on Etherscan. Looking at the timestamp, you can see that my transaction was submitted just a few moments ago, but it doesn't show how long Etherscan had it in its mempool before it was validated. And that's because this transaction was never detected by Etherscan's mempool, and was only picked up by Etherscan once it landed on chain. Comparing that to any random non-private transaction from the same block, you'll notice that next to the timestamp it shows that the transaction was confirmed within 30 seconds. Meaning, Etherscan's mempool picked up the transaction 30 seconds before it was confirmed and landed on chain. Users trading without a bot can still send private transactions using a MetaMask wallet through BlocksRoute's FastProtect. And you can find a video on that using the link in the description below. I hope you found this video useful, and if you'd like to inquire about our services, feel free to contact us by email, Discord, or by visiting our website. Thanks for watching.